to sleep, you'll be like, Allah, please give that loan to me. Allah will give that loan to me. Let me have it. Let me have it. This and that. The banker is the one who's giving. He's sleeping. He doesn't care <laughs> if you get it or not. To him, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. He's the one who's giving. You are the one at the receiving end. Mm -hmm. Those who receive, they are awake. Mm -hmm. Those who give, they sleep. Allah is saying, look at those lenders. They're sleeping. And you are the one who's awake. And now look at me. I'm the one who's giving. You are the one who needs me. But you are the one who's sleeping. I'm the one who's awake looking after you. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Do you understand what type of a giver I am? I'm that giver that I'm the one who gives. I don't need you all. <coughs> really, Allah doesn't need us. He's saying, I don't need you. You need me. But I'm letting you sleep. And I'm keeping an eye on you, taking care of you. If you understood this love I have for you, then you know what Rabbul Alameen means. This is that love that where Allah is saying, Rabbul Alameen. You say, Rabbul, who's that love? Who's that Rabb? The one who's taking care of you. <clears throat> Even though you are not able to see. He's letting you sleep. But he's looking at this is Rabbul Alameen. Understand this, my friend. Alhamdulillah, Rabbul Alameen. When we say that, understand what Allah is trying to teach us here. What should we have in our mind when we say this in prayers? And when you look at that, then you will see the way Allah has shown that he's Rabbul Alameen. This is the way you see the Prophet. When you look at him, he was the manifestation of this quality. The manifestation of this quality. The Imams are the manifestation of this quality. That is why it said that for the Imam it is said that he is the one who is holding the skies and the earth together. Mm. It is through him that the risk is being given. Why is that? You see the Imam is there. You know when you look at the time or of the history right after the Prophet you will see this. Imam Ali was there. He was there. His imamat is a shade on everyone. But no one is accepting him. See? This is just like that Rabbul Alameen. That who's giving his grace for everyone. But no one is accepting him or has the modifier. That same condition existed in the time right after the death of the Prophet. The Imam is there. He is there and his grace is for everyone. But everyone is rejecting him. But Imam is there for everyone. <clears throat> and through him, risk is reaching them. Allah is giving risk to everyone. Through him, Allah is giving knowledge to everyone. Through him, Allah is giving Imam to everyone. But you see, the Imam is there. My friends, the being of the Imam is there. But even though we see that we are people in the world rejected, but the Imams do not stop being Imams. Allah doesn't stop being Allah. It is we who stop being followers. It is Insan that stops being Insan. The Imam is there to give grace for everyone so that they can give. And that's why when we look for the Imam, our job is to give bayat to him, to give allegiance to him, to put our hand on the hand of the Imam. The Imam is, was there, Imam Ali was there. The hand was there, but no one came to put their hand on the hand of Ali. And still today, Ali is alone and waiting. Still today, Ali is alone and waiting. But the only thing is that now we do not have that hand that we can give bayat to. Now we don't have that hand that we can bayat to. Now the Imam is waiting in ghaib. He's waiting in ghaib, but we cannot give bayat now to him. He's in ghaib. 
You cannot put a hand on his hand and say that, Imam, I am with you. Now understand. Now understand why do we have the alam in the shape of a hand. Understand why we have the alam in the shape of a hand. Why? Because this is the hand that is not present right now that we can give by it. That you can give allegiance to to the Imam. Understand what the teachings of Azadari have given us. When we don't have the hand of the Imam, this is that hand that represents the hand of the Imam that we give by it to. That we say that we are with you. That we give allegiance to you. We pledge our allegiance to you. My friends, today is the 28th of Safar. And this is the day in which the Prophet of Allah has left us and Imam Hassan has left us. When we go to Medina and when we see that time when the Prophet was taking his last breaths, was taking his last breaths when we go there and see that. You see that his head was in the lap of Fatima. And Ali was next to Fatima. And as his head was on the lap of Fatima, Fatima was crying so that bidding her farewell, not only to her grandfather but to the Prophet of Allah. She was bidding farewell. Someone knocked at the door. Fatima said, who is it? He said, I have come to meet the Prophet. He said, go away, he's resting. A while later, he knocked again. He knocked again. And she said, I told you to go away, why are you still knocking? The Prophet opened his eyes and said, what is the matter, Fatima? My, my dear daughter, what is the matter? She said, Father, someone keeps knocking at the door and he does not leave. The Prophet said, my daughter, allow him to come in. He is that Malakul Maut, the angel of death, who doesn't require anyone's permission to enter the house. But Fatima, this is your house. And the respect of your house. And the greatness of your house and your door. That he feels that he must knock before he comes in. And take permission before he comes in. Ya Rasul Allah, such is the position of the door of Fatima that even the angels they knock before they come in. You have showed the greatness of this door by every by getting up in the mornings and praying to Allah. But before you go to pray, you used to give salam to this door and show the ummah that this door is that door which is going to be the means of guidance for all of mankind. And the greatness of this door is by your sending salam to this door. But what can I tell you, Rasulullah? Only a few days have passed after the 28th of Safar. Only a few days have passed when this door will be there and fire and sticks will be there. And with the fire and sticks, they will break the door down. But they will break it down in such a way that Fatima is stuck between the wall and the door. And she is stuck in such a way that her her she was bruised in her ribs and the baby that she had inside died from those bruises. When she felt the pain, she cried out, Fizza, come to my help. Help me get out of this. And you know why she called Fizza and why she didn't call Imam Ali? Because sometimes there are certain things that happen to women that they need a mother to take advice from or to get help from. That's why she called Fizza. She called Fizza, but when Fizza came and took her out of that door, you see she fell down unconscious. She fell unconscious.